Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but if you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. See about stay sharp. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other. We'll take ages to talk to you. Damp. Let's see if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. 
And it reminds me of home. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill.
It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, it's possible that the core physicers grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. And here we are. A phial of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. <sighs> Understood. And thank you. <sighs> the curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. Maybe you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Thank you. 
Clive, where are you? In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. What do you need? What do you want? No scratches, all right? Notice. Don't. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosaleth. But not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? We are going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka. 
or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you. Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. We cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate. Then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on, then. Oh. Will you be going, too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. Lead on. <laughs>